my country which is India I'll click next I'll click install now All right, as far as I know uh, the setup process it looks very similar to the one which we have in Windows Server 2008 or Windows Vista or Windows 7 for that matter all right by default we have these versions one is Windows Server 2012 standard evaluation server core and another one is the same version but with the GUI and the second one is data center evaluation server core version and also we have data center evaluation with GUI I'm gonna select data center evaluation which kind of gives you all server roles and features which says that all server roles and features are supported as you know Windows Server 2012 is only 64 bit you don't have a 32 bit version so you cannot install this on a 32 bit virtual machine or on a 32 bit physical machine so you need to have a 64 bit processor running and I'll click the last option which is Windows Server 2012 data center evaluation server with a GUI x64 I'll click next I'll accept the license terms I'll click next alright if you have an existing Windows 2008 server or Windows Server 2008 R2 you can upgrade or if you just wanna do a fresh installation you can just click on custom and one thing you want to make sure is before you install this on a physical machine or on a virtual machine which has an existing operating system and has some files in the hard drive just make sure you're backing up your data before you do this have only one drive which is unallocated that's fine so I'll click next alright so now it's going to install the windows first it's going to copy windows file which is already done now it's going to get the files ready for installation then it will install the features update and then finally it's going to finish it up so it's going to take some time for all these things
by the way your computer will restart during the installation All right, you can see that it has done installing the Windows. Now it's going to restart. After restarting the Windows, the setup will configure the windows And again, it's going to restart the PC after configuring the devices.